Want to improve your pick control, dynamics, and endurance with your alternate picking technique? I've got one simple exercise that'll help you with that. Let's check it out. The exercise itself is quite simple. It's only nine notes in total. And the idea is that it's cyclical, so it's gonna just repeat over and over and over again. But what's gonna make this one tricky is in the middle of it, or basically at the end of it, there's a little bit of a burst to it, which will flip the picking. So here's how this is gonna work. We're gonna start on the D string, 11th fret C sharp, 12th fret D, and 14th fret E. And picking wise, we're just alternate picking. So it's just gonna be down, up, down. We're gonna go do the 11th fret F sharp on the G string. That'll be an up. Here's the tricky part. We're gonna play a descending phrase starting on A, G sharp, and F sharp. So that's 14th fret, 13th fret, and 11th fret on the G string. And that's gonna begin on a downstroke. So technically, you're gonna end up with this so far. In and of itself, not a big deal. But what you're gonna do at that point is return back to the D string, 14th fret E, and 12th fret D. So there's a little bit of a rhythmic twist in here, and that's actually one of the key difficulties of this exercise, as you'll see when you get this going. So here's what you have so far for round one. So starting on a down, you'll notice that the little burst part, the little, the quicker part, also begins on a down. So the one thing also to note is the whole phrase ends on a down. You might be able to detect the trouble here. When we go to repeat it, since we just hit a down to finish the last round, we gotta start the next round on an up. The idea is we play the exact same phrase in the exact same way and try our best to make it sound the exact same as it did starting on a down, but this time starting on an up. This is where things get a little, uh, little, little tricky. So starting on an up stroke, you'll have up, down, up for the C sharp, D, and E. You'll have a down on the F sharp, third string. Now here's the fun part. That little triplet that we just played, the descending A, G sharp, and F sharp, that's now gonna start on an up stroke returning back to the D string for E and D, down and up. So again, it might not sound like a big deal until you actually put these two together. Up, up. The problem is that that little quick part, that little descending A, G sharp, and F, we tend to want to accent the A, we tend to want to hit it a little harder because it's a little bit of a burst. It's a little bit of a, an explosion, I guess you could say. So we want to hit it a little harder. I don't know about you, but I would rather do that on a downstroke than an upstroke. It feels a little awkward to accent on an upstroke in the middle of a busy line like this. It's one thing if you're just playing you know, slower phrases and hitting the odd upstroke harder than other notes. But when you're playing a continuous line that way and you're having a good flip, between a, a downstroke accent and an upstroke accent and make it sound exactly the same across the board, this is where the fun begins. <laughs> so here's what it sounds like when you put the two together. So down, up. That's the basic exercise.